Whatever, just, just remove this. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and lots of people are complaining about having to wear cloth masks right now, so this is my attempt to prove they're fine by wearing this aggressive altitude training mask for as long as I can. I also want to see if this continued stressor makes me fitter, more superhuman, definitely more supervillain. So yeah, I'll be wearing it all of the time, working out, working on my laptop, going to the grocery store. I mean, I guess I'll have to take it off to eat. But otherwise, I will be making breathing decidedly harder on myself for it. However long that is, I assume I put it in the title and you know when I don't. This experiment is based on my possibly ill-advised idea that I should be working hard to better myself at every living moment in as many ways as possible, which in the past motivated me to wear a weighted vest for seven days straight. This time it's challenging my breathing power all the time, multitasking so that whatever I'm doing, I'm also training my lungs. And I'm going to prove that I'm okay in this aggressive thing using what could probably be considered science. This is an oximeter and it measures oxygen levels in your blood and a normal reading is between 95 and 100. So as long as I'm between that range, I'm fine probably. And then to measure if this actually improves my lung power, this is called a power lung and it's like the valve in this thing, but on steroids. You're supposed to do reps with it like a workout daily and then increase the difficulty. So let's see how difficult I can do right now as a baseline. Okay, I think that's my limit. Two on the in, four on the out. Now afterwards, if this improves, then I'll know it was a great idea to wear this stupid thing every waking moment. Now when I say every waking moment, I actually mean that because I will not be sleeping with this. I know some of you are disappointed. My mom is breathing a sigh in relief. An unchallenging sigh because there's nothing stopping the air from going in her lungs. But I'm concerned about sleeping because one cannot measure one's well-being while unconscious. Also, the directions say don't sleep in it. Anyway, the directions don't say anything about not using it to make a statement about how we should all be good citizens and protect ourselves and others and save lives and stop being whiny cowards about a piece of cloth. Yeah, I'm gonna start this on the easiest mode. You can click these down to make it harder. Yeah, this is way easy. Oh. I am not gonna be able to talk to you through my journey. I guess this is gonna be series of voiceover, or captioning, or I'm sorry, Carl. Okay, let's start this clock, I'm ready to go. On your mark, get set, mask. Ooh, this is already harder than I was thinking, okay. The first thing I notice is that it's making me super conscious of my breathing. Not just the fact that it's harder, but that I hear every breath. I'm hoping that being in the forefront of my brain is just happening at first and will go away. Oxygen levels at 99, doing just fine. I didn't think about the fact that I drink water throughout the day, so I'm gonna have an unchained breath every once in a while to stay hydrated. But then right back in. Two hours in. Today's my active rest day, so I'm just trying to get some steps in. I'm not pushing it on the cardio, but the mask is making it harder, and I am already questioning this idea. But it's not like that bad. I'm fine. This is not me complaining. I keep checking my oxygen saturation because this feels taxing, but the numbers keep saying I'm okay. My brain is going back and forth between thinking, I'll get through this, and why did I say I do this? Now I'm getting a little more nervous, but maybe it's just because it's getting dark out. Wait, wait, wait am I wait, maybe dizzy? Wait, my chest, my chest is, is kind of tight. tight. <laughs> maybe I'm just in my own head. When I'm doing something that keeps my mind occupied, it's not as hard. I've found that I'm actually able to forget that I'm wearing the trainer for short periods. It's when I have time to get worried about what this continued stress is doing to my pulmonary muscles is when I start very much regretting this video concept. Okay, it's dinner time, so I have to take this off. Ooh, yikes. We got a marking situation going on on my face. I wouldn't call that a positive stressor. Also, I still feel weirdly conscious of my breathing, like... It's at the forefront of my brain, even though supposedly it's easier. It doesn't feel that much easier either. It's just now all I can think about. It's not bedtime yet, so... Guess I'm going back in. I'm now also concerned about rubber fumes. I did let this sit in the sun at first, but putting it back on, I noticed the smell is still there. My anxious brain is making this challenge harder. With the weighted vest, I was like, oh, I'm sore and uncomfortable. Who cares? Get through it. But for some reason, my diaphragm muscles and chest tightness concerns me way more. And it's harder for me to think I could just push through it. I guess it's because it's more internal stuff that I feel like should get rest. Oh, yeah, wait, it's because breathing is how I survive. If my legs give out, like, oh, well, I'll rest and be fine in a few days. But if my breathing gives out, that is a different story. <sighs> Ugh. After seven hours, this is shocking how much harder it is than I thought it would be. I'm hoping that I can recover overnight because it's going to be even longer of a challenge tomorrow. And now I'm laying here getting anxious, like still conscious of my breathing, and then I'm also worried about sleeping as long and as deep as possible. This challenge is messing with my head. Despite my anxiety, I did get to sleep, and my Whoop and Aura are saying I recovered well, so 
Let's go. And not all right again. We're one hour in today and my chest hurts, not just tightness. Also, I'm wearing it half strap because the neck thing is getting annoying, but don't worry, it's still sealed to my face. One positive thing I think this is doing is forcing me to breathe with my diaphragm. When we're born, we breathe correctly, which is deeper down like towards our stomachs using our diaphragm. But as we get older, everyone starts breathing into your chest, which isn't good. And singers and wind instrument players always want to use their diaphragm. So I'm happy to have something that's reminding me not to do crappy shit shallow breaths, but I think it's too late. Like yesterday I hurt my chest, maybe even from pushing myself to my limit on the power lungs. So I'm worried that no amount of correct breathing right now is gonna fix my chest tightness. This is going to end way sooner than I expected. I can't believe how challenging this is. And I've not only set this up as one of my usual outrageous experiments, which is plenty of incentive to push through. I've also tried to make it an illustration of how easy all types of mask wearing is. So if I fail at this, our whole nation will probably stop wearing masks. So clearly there's a lot riding on this video right now. Bless my phone doesn't recognize me. I rested yesterday, so I'm biking today. Oh man, look, my saturation actually dropped. I guess these masks do make you train in less oxygen. I'm cutting my biking short because I'm stupidly worried about not being able to take this off after. And also because I have some things to say about training in less oxygen, so stay tuned. Right now I have the feeling that I want to just get to the point of relief, like it's gonna get easier on the next breath, but then I realize there's no escaping. This is just how I live now. The next breath is gonna be as trapped as the one before it and the one after it. I want to keep going even if it's hard, but then my brain keeps going back and forth between two extremes. It's either if you get through this, you're gonna be stronger on the other side, or you're getting broken down with no recovery time. You're just getting weaker. Definitely biking makes sitting seem way easier. The slower I breathe, the less pressure I feel on my insidey muscles. Now would be a great time to talk about some science behind altitude training and also some of the counter arguments to these training masks. Well, the argument for these masks is that it's like altitude training. It's harder to breathe, so your body is more challenged. And then and you have a more efficient workout. Work out harder for less time. That sounds great. The problem is that working out with less oxygen just ruins your workout. Now that I'm lifting with less oxygen, I'm doing a worse job on lifting. It's more exhausting, so I don't lift as much, so my body is actually less effective. I'm getting better at breathing, not working out. But okay, so I'm gonna improve my breathing. That's good, right? Well, kind of. It could potentially help my singing, like I mentioned earlier. But if I breathe better, that doesn't mean I'm delivering oxygen better. In 99% of athletic activity, the feeling of shortness of breath isn't because you're not getting enough air into your lungs. It's that your blood isn't getting that oxygen to your muscles, so you just feel like you can't breathe. The power of your breaths in and out isn't what's holding you back. That's why elite athletes live at altitude. Spending all their time in less oxygen makes their body create more red blood cells to deliver that oxygen. But what people don't realize is that elite athletes that live at altitude actually go back down closer to sea level to train. They build up their blood power up high and then use it to train harder down low. That's basically the opposite of what this mask is doing, especially when applied for its intended use where you wear it for only a workout. Restricting oxygen for the short time of a workout isn't enough stimulus to lead to the training adaptation you'd get from altitude. Though if anything, that's an argument for doing my outrageous experiment since I'm living with it on all the time. I should just stop training in it. So yeah, I'm done working out today. Okay, I've had it off for a little bit because I was finishing eating and I'm feeling exhausted. Like I worked super hard today and I don't think it was the anaerobic lifting or just like sitting in it. It was that tiny little bit of uphill biking that I did, it just like wiped me. All that stuff I said about altitude training was from an article that I found after starting this challenge. So I feel like I set it up poorly and if I could rewrite this, I would make it so that I'm supposed to wear the mask when I'm not training all the time. And then when I am training, take it off. But also no one suggests that for a future video because this is hard. I am almost done eating. There's half an almond left. And I do not think I can do this for another day. And when I first thought of this, I was like, oh, it'll probably be like a couple days, maybe a week. And now I'm just like trying to get hours. I did seven hours yesterday and then I slept seven hours. So if I get to bedtime tonight, that'll be 24 hours. And that seems reasonable. So I guess I'll keep going. Also that article on altitude training said something that I think is worth quoting verbatim. Just because something's harder doesn't mean it's better. Three, two, one. <laughs> and I think that statement is worth repeating because I need to learn it. Just because something's harder doesn't mean it's better. So I guess I don't truly know if this was better until I do my test, which... Where's my power line? Whatever, I'm not doing my test tonight because I'm definitely broken down and I want to give my body some time to recover to see if I did improve. Though even though I thought I would go longer, 24 hours is still a long time, right? Like, I don't think this negates the fact that if I can go a full day in one of these, then anyone can wear a cloth mask to be a good citizen. And I'm not talking about the people that can't because of health conditions. I'm talking about the whiners 
that don't want to do it because they think it's hard or don't want to be inconvenienced even though it saves lives. I hope that my 1,440 minutes of inconveniencing myself convinces you. And this is not meant to be a political statement, nor should any mask wearing be a political statement. I'm just sciencing here. And also, my oxygen levels are still just fine. Huh, look at that. Well, guess I hit 100. Oh, it, I swear I did say 100 before. Okay, I gave it some time this morning to make sure that I really do feel all right. And I think I'm ready to test out if I got any lung gains it's on the same setting as I had it before. So ideally, this will be easy. It is not. <laughs> I don't think that was any improvement from 24 hours ago. <laughs> so my experiment did nothing, except it did a whole ton of things. It taught me one, that optimizing doesn't always mean making everything as hard as possible, and two, that recovery is as important, if not more important, than the training, which both of those things I actually knew already. It's just that I don't do a good job of living them, and so it was nice to have it beaten into my brain or my face for 24 hours. And if you're one of the people that got to my channel through this video by searching and are here for the first time and you just skip to the end to see the results, you'd be better off skipping earlier to hear some real info on what training masks do and how they work. And also, you should probably subscribe because you need more Fitness Outrageous.